Hey guys, how are you? Geeky Soap here, and in this video, I will show you how to make ABS juice to get your print stick to the print bed. So this is to get ABS stick to the print bed really good without warping and stuff. So this is the best way. Check this video out if you don't want to miss it out. So what you need is ABS and acetone. Um, you don't need a heated bed to print these prints so that's really special a heated bed is what you need on most printers to print ABS but with this method you don't need it at all so this is some used ABS you can use new ABS but this was some Chinese ABS so I just used Lego bricks Lego bricks are made from pure ABS and you will be sure that um, they're not screwed up with like stuff with the hips and nylon and they all work great so they dissolve in the S stone so after you put the Lego bricks in a special glass container, don't use plastic because the acetone will dissolve the plastic. Um, then just shake it around a little bit. And you can see I changed my bottle because it was easier for shaking. And you need to shake it around for like 5 or 10 minutes until the Lego bricks in my case will dissolve to the... Like when there is nothing left of them. You can see the rust a little bit left there. And in the end the bottle was clear without any residue behind. After you've managed to make your juice, just take a glass uh, you're printing on or just take your print surface. This was mine, you can see there was some leftover juice um, from the other time I printed. And now I will uh, add some blue ABS juice on it. Um, I just took a little bit of paper and um, swiped it around the plate. Don't do too much uh, because it will stick really good and the parts will be like really hard to take off. Um, this is actually enough, so now I'm doing too much on it. Um, it was good to print on, but still, you should not use this much. Uh, I just don't recommend it for you guys. But uh, if you want to, just do it. Uh, but keep in mind, when you print, um, the bottom of the print can get a little bit of the color behind uh, of the ABS juice. So below the print, it can be green or blue. It just depends on the color of the ABS juice you use on the bottom layer. I just secured the glass with some duct tape because it's really cheap, cheaper than blue paint or tape and it holds it better. So the first layer of the print should be really good and pushed onto the print bed so it will uh, melt together with the ABS juice. So that's the whole trick about this. It will melt together and then it will stick on it like hell and you won't be able to pull it off. So calibrate your printer. So after you put part of um, you can look below it if there is no uh, juice color on it. Um, it prints really good even though like when you print bigger parts it won't warp at all. Uh, the bottom was a little bit dirty because um, the nozzle was not 100% clean when I used the white ABS. It had some transparent ABS as well but uh, it was a really great print. It sticked really good. So after five layers it will usually uh, go off the print bed if it's wrong. If you want to know the perfect amount, just experiment a little bit for yourself. I'll see you in my next video.